Hello, my name is Kurt Schwer, and this is Research Tools Video 16, and we're going to talk today about simple signal processing using NumPy and Python. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to try out some basics of signal processing. We'll say ipython dash dash pylab to get ourselves into a Python environment. And NumPy provides some nice functionality for working with arrays, so we can construct some basic signal shapes. The first one we're going to take a look at is to make a box car. So we can say zeros. And the zeros function lets us create a list uh, or an array of zeros. So we'll say zeros and we'll make about 200 of them. So there's an array of 200 zeros. And to make a box car, we're going to have zeros followed by ones followed by zeros. So we can also do ones, 100, and there's 100 ones. And what we can do then is concatenate these together. So we can say concatenate, and you ask it a little bit about itself. So we can concatenate several arrays together and uh, glue, them, glue them together. So we'll say concatenate. And we'll make a list. So we're going to fill out this list with ones. Let's make it a little bit bigger, so a thousand of them. Followed by maybe, a, let's say, We'll start with zeros, that's probably better. Zeros, ones, so we'll make uh, about 200 of those. And zeros, 1,000. And hopefully I have my parentheses right, so there we go. Now what we really want to say, rather than using out5, which would be confusing, we'll just say data equals. And we can do a quick plot of that, so plot data. And I'll bring that over to where you can actually see it. And there you have a simple square wave or box car. So we can do some interesting things with that. For example, maybe we want to apply a Hamming filter. And if you don't know what a Hamming filter looks like, we'll just go ahead and create one. So we'll just say Hamming. Uh, we'll make it, make, make it 30 samples long. And that is a Hamming filter. Doesn't look like much, does it? So we'll say plot Hamming. And we'll bring that in. And it's just a simple sort of sinusoidal shape. Now, if we, let me bring that back. If we look here, it peaks to one. If you integrate under this curve, it's going to be much larger than one. So if we go and apply this filter to our data, it's actually going to increase the amplitude of our signal. So we need to normalize it so that it sums to one. So we can say Hamming of 30, and we can take the sum of that. So we can say sum, and that comes out a lot higher than 1. So what we can do is say our filter, we'll call it a filter, equals Hamming 30, and we'll divide by the sum of that total filter. So if we say sum a filter, we get back 1. So let's say plot a filter. And here's our filter, and if you notice, the peak is much lower. So let's go ahead and learn how to convolve our signals together. So we can say convolve, question mark, and we can ask about convolve. So here we get to apply two arrays together, and A and a V, and they'll be convolved together. So we can say convolve data with a filter, and we get back an array that doesn't look like much on the command line, so we want to plot that. So we can say plot convolve, and there's our convolve filter, and let's also plot our data along with it so we can see the difference between the two. So what actually happens here is that it's kind of notched together, and it's a little hard to see here, but um, it rounds the edges with a Hamming filter. Now. We can also generate random signals, so we can say rand n 100 or 1000. We get a bunch of random stuff, so we can say plot, and here is some random data. We can also take a Fourier transform of that, so we can say FFT rand n 1000 or maybe 1024, and doesn't look like much, but then we can say plot some proper parentheses in there, and 
Oops. So if we plot the f of t of, of that data, there is the Fourier transform of that data. Doesn't look like much because it's random data, but that should be uh, enough to get you started thinking about signal processing in Python. So thanks for joining me.